Good afternoon, day three. Yesterday, as you could probably tell from our last video, we were a little bit exhausted. So as we were going to sleep, we were kind of planning our the way we were gonna go. And we were actually planning on doing 3.4 miles today to give ourselves a little bit of a break. Ended up actually doing eight miles or about to. We are 0.2 miles from the next shelter. Just collecting a little bit of water before we actually go there. Um, so yeah, how are you feeling today? Pretty good, yeah. The, uh, I thought eight miles was going to be super hard, but yeah, it felt pretty strong, pretty, pretty good the whole time. The boy is a little bit pooped, so that's fine. Good exercise for him. But yeah, we're just getting some water before we, uh, you know, get to camp. It's better to get it before than after. We've learned the hard way already, actually, this morning. But yeah, some people were asking before we came, how are we gonna purify our water and water sources? So we have this river right here. We have this contraption called the platypus. This thing holds eight liters of water. You have a dirty bag and a clean bag. And it's just through gravity, it actually is coming through here and going down into this bag. So a lot of people use a thing called the Sawyer Squeeze, which you basically just dip a bottle into the river here and just squeeze it through this filter. It's a little bit of effort, it takes a while. It's, to get eight liters from that would take quite a bit. Um, there's also these pump filters, which are a bit of effort. This thing, I just go in, dip it in the river, fill it and just wait. Uh, it's pretty great in regards to, you gotta think we're two people and a dog. So as far as quantity of water, we need more. We gotta do dishes, laundry, um, hydrate, general hygiene. You know, cooking, you actually use a bunch of water because you're rehydrating things. So actually really, ha it's not cheap. It's not cheap. I think it weighs like a pound. So it's, I think it's worth the weight. And I mean, we are kind of, just the price of it, we're like, eh, should we, shouldn't we? But I'm really happy we did, looking at it now. So, uh, check in with you later. Good morning, day four, uh, nine o'clock in the morning at this point. Sorry we didn't take a video when we got to this campsite last night. We were awfully busy. We actually did a shakedown which is going through all your stuff, seeing what you don't need and getting rid of it basically. So Janine's actually resupplying in town right now. So she's getting food. Um, we need a new SD card. The one I had at home and I'm using in this GoPro is a little bit uh, finicky. So hopefully she could get her hands on that. Um, you know, some other items we, we had listed, she has the list. But uh, yeah, we we think we probably got rid of like three pounds worth of stuff, which, you know, we're measuring things in ounces, so very significant. But yeah, everything's still good. Uh, we're, like I said, day four out here. We'll hike 10 miles to our next location is the plan. That's gonna be a campground. And then from there, so that, it, Today's Thursday. That'll put us Thursday night, 10 miles further down the trail. And then from there, thunderstorms apparently are rolling in the, in the afternoon on Friday. So we can hopefully get up early and hike eight miles and we'll be in a great shelter, like quality wise and whatnot. So hopefully we can do that. Um, you know, we're trying to avoid doing the hotel stuff at this point because it is just so early in the trail and we want to avoid any costs and maybe save them when we're more in need. Uh, actually, <clears throat> looking at the weather forecast for the rest of this month, it's supposed to rain every single day. It literally says that. So uh, it's going to be a tough start, but we weren't... Uh, not expecting it to be tough, so it's fine. This little guy, he's a little bit, uh, doesn't like the rain, but we got him a raincoat and whatnot. 
So hopefully that works out. But yeah, still feeling all right. Actually, you know, hanging in there. So everything, uh, like I've been saying, is, is good. We'll see a couple days. I'm sure once the rain hits, it's gonna be somewhat miserable. But, you know, it is what it is. Hey guys, so day four, we arrived at our destination. So we didn't make it as far as we had planned. The resupply took much longer than expected. Um, it seems like the part of the trail we're on right now, there's no towns really accessible. You know, sometimes you actually hit towns when you're actually taking the trail. And you don't have to walk too far, but Janine had to catch an Uber and then walk all around town. They didn't really have stores that had the stuff we needed or at least easily accessible. So a lot of things we actually didn't even end up getting. Left the uh, campsite at two o'clock, actually 2.30. Janine arrived at two, we actually left at 2.30. So we only hiked 4.9 miles today. Um, we're at a shelter. Tomorrow, the thunderstorms that we've been talking about have been, you know, they're gonna roll in at around maybe like 10.30. So we have to hike 13.5 miles to make it there, um, which is, I don't know if we can really beat beat the storm, but there's a shelter on the way to this, to this one uh, that we hope to get to. Um, so we always have kind of like a backup plan, at least right now, so. How are you doing? Good. I was disappointed that we didn't go further, but it's kind of, one, I got super exuberant with the uh, resupply, so I got a bit more food than we strictly needed. So the, the additional weight plus the steep climb today really uh, took a toll. Yeah. Yeah. So we, today we climbed the highest, I guess the longest and highest climb in Maryland on the trail at least so yeah it was uh actually yeah it was a challenge i guess we resupplied so it was our packs were a lot heavier uh, <laughs> yeah. but anyway uh we still think it's all good we'll see what we say tomorrow the boy is uh pooped again which like i always say, that's great we got the sun setting got the tent set up and all that good stuff already ate have plenty of food, so we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Hello. So we woke up 6.30 this morning trying to beat the storm. We're keeping a pretty good pace. Probably we'll be in the storm for like an hour, but we did make it to this little passing point. 1,080 miles to Maine. Pretty picturesque view. I think we might be in Pennsylvania. Not quite sure, or we're just about to be, so we went out of West Virginia, went to Maryland, uh, went through Maryland entirely, and we're about to be in Pennsylvania, so. In 0.2 miles, we'll cross the Mason-Dixon line. 0.2 miles, so. Hello, don't know if I mentioned earlier, it is day five uh, where we crossed into Pennsylvania. So just gonna show you real quick the Sawyer Squeeze that I was talking about the other day. So we just put this bottle into that stream and I'm just going to screw on this thing which is the Sawyer squeeze open this this guy up and literally just squeeze the bottle for filtered water now we have an uphill climb to our shelter so we're just gonna hydrate there's water up there so we, we don't want to fill everything up and then have to carry it uphill so this is really convenient for something like that so we're at deer lick shelter 9.6 miles so we're really happy we made it before the weather rolled in it's I, not even noon yet which is pretty great you know yeah so we're relaxing Janine got water, the boys already uh, nestled in there. So the shelter setups, we probably passed a dozen at this point. 
are similar to this. You know, some will have two floors, some will have, uh, I don't know, right? Some are nicer, some are not nice. Yeah, this, one's more this will hold out for the storm. It's not like the roof will, is fine. There's some where the roof like leaks. So we were trying to avoid that. So this is pretty typical. You can see the privy is over there. Um, they have these designated campsites right here. So you can set your tent up. But like I said, ours isn't so good in the wind. There's supposed to be high winds tonight. So this is going to be our first shelter we actually stay in. We'll see how that is. The long-awaited storm has finally arrived. So we're on day five. We've been hiking a business week at this point. So just want to update kind of the posting and loading of videos. Now that I've been doing it for five days, I kind of have a better idea of what I'm going to do. So I think getting content isn't really an issue. There's always things happening and plans are changing and whatnot. It's the fact that we are limited in how much electricity we have. So I'm not always going to be able to charge up. The camera sometimes has been dead or or whatever and also cell service is sporadic so that affects uploading the videos to the internet of course so I'll upload when I can I think I'll try to do like two videos a week I think the way that it is going it's gonna be always after something happens like a day would be the fastest that I could upload it um, so that's that one uh, other tidbit of information so People were asking me before I left what I'd miss the most out here. And I said, I was thinking, I basically I'd said, we'll see what that is. I'm not entirely sure. I was kind of thinking like a warm bed or a shower or something like that. Turns out something totally unexpected. I would not have thought this. It's actually music, believe it or not. Listening to it freely when I want, what I want. Um, I'm not gonna exactly burn out a phone and a battery we have just listening to music all day and also the fact of disturbing people um, is another issue but yeah Janine what do you miss the most out here uh, shower and clean laundry both those are awesome but actually I was thinking about it I haven't slept a full night the entire time we've been out here and I think sleep deprivation is really taking its toll on me so I miss sleeping through the whole night. And there she is making a cup of coffee. I don't know what time it is, but it's it would definitely make me not want to 